Hi, Chris Kellett here with 123Muse. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the cells widgets with your Muse projects. Now, in a previous video, we've shown you the cells interface, uh, how to set up items, how to set your store up. In this video, we're going to focus purely on the widgets. Now, we're going to be using a demo site that we showed at Max 2015. Uh, this is for a real product, Foamfang, something that Dan and I created. But this demo site, so it's single, single page, very simple. And um, we take the user down the page to see the various features, color schemes of the product, and so on. And then the call to action will be to purchase one of these foam fangs. Now, cells, the cells widget pack comes with three widgets. It comes with a button, uh, a product preview widget with a button to buy, and then the full embedded store. The full embedded store is what we're going to use in the end, but let's just take a look at the other widgets as well. So I'm going to go to my library and type in here cells to locate my cells folder. And let's first of all drag the button onto the page. Now, it may render with an alert over the top, and you may think the widget's broken. That's not the case. It just means that it hasn't fully rendered correctly in Muse. However, if we jumped into preview, we would see that working, which we will do in a moment. Let's take a look at our settings, though. First of all, we have the item ID. We'll get the item ID from cells. Let's go ahead and get that straight away. So I'm just going to jump over to my cells account here. And let's grab this red one. So in my cells, I've added these items again. See the previous video if you want to know how to do that. Click on my options here, and if I go to embed here, I can see a short link and I can get the ID of the product there. So I'm just going to copy that, go back to Muse there, and if we click and paste that in there, there we go. Now we have that product ID in there. I'm just going to change these colors out as well to red. So I'm changing the button color here to red. And now let's go and preview this item. So hit preview in Muse. Scroll down to the sales area and we can see our button here, the price of our product, click buy now. And what I love with sales is the fact that it opens up the e-commerce interface right there on the page. The person can see the product, add it to their cart, and go through the checkout process, all without leaving the page. Very, very clean, neat e-commerce solution for Muse. So that's the button. Now let's take a look at one of the other widgets we have here. So again, I'm just going to type in my library here, cells, get my widget item. Now we've already pre-entered um, some data into these widgets, which may or may not render when you take it into Muse. So let's go ahead and grab the data from this one. And let's pop it in here. For some reason, uh, Muse isn't rendering this widget right now for this preview, which is a bit frustrating. There we go. So we can see the, the widget rendered there. And let's go ahead and change the color scheme to the red. And if we hit preview now, scroll down we can see our button and we can also see this new widget and we have a preview of the product itself there and we have a scrollable text area so that's a single button and the widget the sorry product preview widget but let's go ahead and open an actual store onto the page again I'm going to go into my library here type cells Go to my cell store and drag that onto the page. Now this should render a demo store onto the page that uh, cells has set up, but we want to put our own store in there. So let's move that. That's yep, that's good. Okay, let's go back to our cells store, and we're going to go to our settings, and then our store. And if you scroll down the page here, you'll see store URL. This is the actual name of the store that we need. So I'm going to copy that, go back to Muse, select the store widget and paste that in place. Change the title to Phone Fang. And then we'll change our color scheme. Let's change it to black this time. And there we go. 
And you can see that our store is already rendered onto the page, nicely laid out. And we have this white space at the bottom that we don't want. We can get rid of that easily, just select the widget, go to our transform tool, and let's just type in there 200. And what will happen is the widget will re-render, but it will re-render to the appropriate size. Okay, now let's preview this in the browser. And you can see now that we have our entire store rendered into the page. We can search, so let's say for instance I searched for red. The product is searched for and the results come up in the uh, widget itself. We still haven't left the site, we're still in our site here. And if we click on a product, an individual product item, it renders into the page. We can add to cart, we can check out, and it's all in our Muse site. So this is a really good widget for adding e-commerce. I know a lot of people want to. There's other solutions out there, but the reason why we like sales is it's cost-effective, very simple to use, very simple to set up. And if you're setting this up for a client with a small number of products, I wouldn't use something like this for thousands of products, but a small number of products, maybe a, an ebook or something like that, sales is absolutely perfect for that. It offers digital, uh, physical products, and even time-based products. So. Um, a very good widget indeed to use. So hopefully that's encouraged you to go ahead and start using e-commerce in your Muse site and thanks for watching.